Halo blind bags have always been a big part <laughs> of my life. <laughs> Oh jeez, that, that was even more dramatic than I thought it would be. Oh, uh, hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. As I was saying, uh, Halo blind bags have always been a big part of my life. They've been there since I started collecting, and now they're evolving every day. We just got a first preview. Okay, 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 off you go. Come on, guys, off you go. Off you go. That's enough. <laughs> anyway. We just got a first preview of the Halo Universe Series 1 blind bags. Hopefully they're gonna go hand in hand with the Halo Infinite blind bags. And today we're back for Rare Halo blind bag opening part two. In the last episode, we unpacked some really crazy bags, including one that had a deformed face. That was a really strange one. But today I'm stepping it up with even more. We've got Charlie, Challenger, Delta, Bravo, 10th anniversary and Clash on the Ring. Some really Really exciting ones today. Really happy to be opening these. I have never opened a single Challenger blind bag in my life. They just passed me by while I was in China. The only one I own is this ODST. It was sent to me by a really cool guy. But then these three I'm really excited about. Bravo, Charlie, and Delta. That's a legacy right there. It went alpha through to Foxtrot, all of the alphabet, and we have Bravo, Charlie, and Delta today. As well as a 10th anniversary, I picked this one up in a Hong Kong toy store for about $4. That's on a travel blocks coming soon. And then Clash on the Ring and Challenger. Yeah, I, th this is gonna be a really good one, guys. I'm definitely gonna start with the Challenger because I've never seen any of these. So let's tear it open. I'm gonna break open this industrial pair of scissors here. <laughs> this is for a big job. All right, so in terms of Challenger series, what do I hope it is? I know I've already got that ODST, but I would love another one, honestly. They're so fantastic. Um, I think the only one I don't want one is the Grunt. Uh, the Zealot's not amazing. I love this Halo Wars Spartan with the green visor. They have a really nice color scheme with this one, which I do appreciate. We had Warrior, Maverick, Challenger, and Stormbound, all sort of following different color schemes. So, drum roll, please. What's the Challenger gonna be? Three, two, one. It's the Grunt. Okay. <laughs> You know, I have a, a funny recurring thing where if I don't want something, I instantly get it. Like, if I predict that I don't want a specific figure, it'll always be that figure. So that's hilarious that it is in this case as well. You've always got to start with these grunts by taking the arms off. It's kind of funny that they come with the arms on because you cannot put it together with them. And you know, blind bag openings, these kind of videos are always a way for me to talk to the community. It's a really relaxing space to be able to just vocalize how I'm feeling. So there's going to be a plenty of that today because goodness me a lot has changed since blind bags part one part one came out goodness like probably a month ago and back then i was living in hong kong now <laughs> look at that little grunt dance now i'm in america i traveled to the united states of america look at this stud ah oh, that's so cool because they always come pre-assembled in a lot of other sets it's nice to see that you insert that stud there also shout out to the horror that is this grunt's face oh you poor thing kill me now. We got that helmet on top and then two legs. Very nice. There were no figures I really didn't want to get in the set because I only had one of them. The ODST I would have even liked two of. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's a pretty fantastic grunt, honestly. Yeah, um, I'm happy with that. What should we name him? Um, people need to keep track of the names that I give these grunts because I don't. Uh, this one is called Rodriguez. Rodriguez the Grunt. Hello. Now dance for your meal, grunt. Dance, dance, dance. What am I talking about again? Oh yeah, okay, blind bags. <laughs> All right, blind bag number one is the Challenger Grunt. The Spartan with the green visor. Of course, the Helio Skrill would have been great. The place I ordered, well, of course, the ban I didn't even mention the Banished Brute. That is a nice brute. The place I ordered these from, I think they probably check the codes. So I'm not expecting the rare stuff. I think the things that would be siphoned out and sold separately would be the ODST, the Brute, and the Helio Skrill. I think the rest would just be in these blind bags. Number one, Grunt, pretty good. What should we open next? I think I'm gonna do Bravo, Charlie, and Delta all in one go. Let's do this 10th anniversary next. So 10th anniversary, as you know, like just the most stellar, stellar lineup of characters. Beautiful, beautiful figure. Especially this year, you know, the 20th anniversary of Halo CE. You'll find because this is the 10th anniversary of Mega, a lot of these are handpicked by the staff at Mega to sort of represent the journey they've been on as a company. We've got the Flame 
Green Marine, which was one of the original things that we saw in Halo Mega Bloks, and the Black Recon that originally came with the elephant. We've also got Cat, who was the first named character in the Halo universe. Yes, it says $30, but that's 30 Hong Kong dollars, which is the equivalent of about four US. So what do I want from this set? I love the Elite. The Helio Skrill's great. The Black Recon's great. Obviously the Gold Chief. Even the Little Grunt would be fun. Uh, the Brute, most definitely. It's it's all good. Three, two, one. It's, oh, look at that. <laughs> This is gonna be a grunt episode, guys. I uh, did not code any of these. I just picked some random ones from my pile to unbox today, because you saw that was a pretty monstrous pile. So let's uh, let's build up a little friend for Rodriguez. <laughs> this uh, this one can be called Rodrigo. Or should it be a girlfriend? Should it be Rodriguez's girlfriend? We have a lot of fun at the domain, you know? Making girlfriends out of uh, plastic toys. That's a really fun time. Grunt harness secured. I have got a lot better at doing that grunt harness over the years, but uh, not that good because I missed this part out. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm way too high up. Yeah. You've got to get the ball right in there. So a quick comparison. We don't have any painted detail, which is a shame. Obviously you don't need any mouth detail on this one because it comes with the mask, but it would have been nice to have some eyes painted on. Of course, if you own any kind of miniature paint, that is a very easy fix. Mega, where are the eyes at? In my previous apartment, I broke the table. I actually dented it inwards, cracked it a little bit because I was pushing loads of limbs into my figures. But the these are ridiculous, man. I guess this is also the first time I've tried to record an unboxing video while I've not been in Hong Kong. I'm not sweating the entire time. I'm getting ready for a Minnesotan winter here. It's gonna be cold. It's been a long day, a long month, but here we are. We've got two grunts. Ah, uh, yeah, they, they make a little, a nice little pair. Comment down below, what's your favorite grunt? Do you like 343? Or do you like to keep it old school? Clash on the ring. Everything in here is pretty golden. I don't need any more of these Spartans, but you know, I'll take them. Obviously, we're looking for more Chips Dubos. We're looking for more Elite. Another one of these drop ships. I don't think it's a drop ship. It would be hilarious if it was another grunt because this thing would look staged as anything. I promise you, it's not, it's not staged. Hey, there we go, it's not staged. You see, it's the Elite. <laughs> Not staged. Another one of these elites is always welcome. I love these guys. So my friends, since I have left Hong Kong, YouTube is my source of income. It's my job, it's my life. So I hope you're enjoying the massive increase in quantity and I hope quality that I've been pushing out over the last week. It's been a video every single day. It feels uh, surreal really because I've been planning this for a year and to actually be in America just as Halo Infinite releases, I'm making videos, I'm I'm doing what I love. I'm enjoying every day. My stress, you know, anxiety, like anything like that is at a record low. Like it's really great. Uh, just wanna, just wanna be very transparent with you guys that, um, Living in Hong Kong in a very, very busy, insane city, very fast paced. It's a place that you can you can have a lot of uh, anxiety and stress if it doesn't go unchecked. It's hard to it's hard to just be like, okay, I'm not going to be stressed today because it's a big city, you know. A good time to just reflect, man. Like uh, a good time to be like, hey, people work too hard in this life. Like it, it's it's a very intense life we all live. So look after yourself, try and be healthy, try and watch content online that you enjoy and that gives you happiness and uh, just uh, try and be good to your fellow human beings. That's my life lesson for the day. And would you look at that? We've got an elite and he's got some grunts to command. We're building up a nice little covenant army for today. That's exactly the way I like it. But let's see in the next three blind bags if we can get some UNSC reinforcements. There's obviously no choice as to what order we open these in. We have to go Bravo, Charlie, Delta. And it's really interesting having them side by side to see the introduction of new articulation, right? Because Alpha was the first series to ever get new articulation, but Bravo followed quickly after. And you can see only the three figures in the middle, which is framed pretty ironically because they're the only new articulation. They're sort of holding their ground against the hordes of old articulation saying, you know, you will not take our spot as the top figures. But yeah, we've got these three new articulation figures. And then as Charlie and Delta came, around, the elites got new articulation as well. So we've got this elite new articulation against this storm of new articulation here. And then we've got Delta, this elite as well, new articulation. And also this flood. This was so funny. This flood I always consider an anomaly because we didn't get more of them and they're such a badass figure. So bravo first. I'm gonna make sure to just cut this at the back. I wanna preserve the packaging and spill the guts. 
What have we got? I think I know what this is gonna be because of where I ordered it from. Aha, yeah, okay, okay. There we go. Yeah, no, I was right. Basically, a while ago, I ordered a ton of Bravo series online. I was disappointed to find out that they were all the exact same code, which I was like, oh, that's awful if they're all just gonna be Hazops. But no, they're all Halo 2 Marines, which are basically the best figure in the series, the best one to army build, so that is a-okay with me. You know me, guys, it's a recurring joke that every time I open a Marine, I'm always like, oh, this this issue of Marine is my favorite. I, I just jump back and forth every time. But the Halo 2 Marine is excellent. It's a shame, you know, that the helmet is not the same color as the rest of the body. That is a classic error with a lot of these issues. Like, honestly, many years of figures. This Marine looks fantastic, and we'll get those shoulders on. He's a very quick build, a lot faster than any of these grunts, I'll tell you that much. Bravo series, I voted it as one of my, if not my favorite, blind bag series. There's just so much to offer in this pack. Like, this Elite Ranger's fantastic. The Skirmisher is badass. Guilty Spark, man. Like, the Flood and Guilty Spark coming in one bag, that's just outrageous. So, always happy to open one of these. It seems like you can still buy them from a lot of places, even in the UK. And they come with the old-school base plate, which I know some people like more than the new issued base plates. I, I don't know. I, I really like those new ones that can be used interchangeably in dioramas. So, there's our Halo 2 Marine. I kind of knew that was coming. Coming, but the Charlie and Delta, I'm going in completely blind. And Charlie, it's a really interesting one because a lot of these figures I've only ever owned one of. I don't really want to see that Grenadier. I've seen that a lot before, but the Arctic Pilot's awesome. The Blue Soldier, Soldier being one of my favorite armors. I really love the Mega Bloks versions. Then this Fred is cool. I would love to see this Elite, uh, the Grunt. Let's hope this is not just a Grunt episode. This doesn't feel like a Grunt, but the two hard Half AC jackals would be insane too. I love those half AC transitioning figures. Three, two, one. What we got today, folks? Whoa, no. I lost a piece. Where'd that go? Uh oh. Is that a grunt piece? I hope not. Uh. Oh. Okay, yes, yes, great, great. That's an outstanding figure. I'm very happy to get another one of these elites. Some of these elites also, attention to detail with the printing on the back there. Really lovely, and that silver highlight is great. We're gonna pop this together in no time, and he's showing a lot of his skin across his arms. Sometimes they hide half of the skin away under a jumpsuit, not this one. As well as telling me in the comments what your favorite grunt is. I would love to know what videos of mine you've been enjoying recently. I've put out so many. And I'm filming this today because I've been doing so many like news and talking head videos that I really wanted to get back to basics and do a blind bag opening. I got a lot of sets and products to unbox right now. I'm just looking to get like a really nice camera set up. This is sort of still just recording a bit haphazardly on a kitchen table, which is not exactly what I want to do, but we're going to see. This is, the whole process will evolve over time. Get these legs on. The armor always fits on so nicely. When one of my friends was building his first ever Mega Bloks figure the other day. He really struggled with the legs, figuring out which way round to put them. I've got so used to it now, but it is actually a pretty difficult thing. This is the most difficult part though. You never get this right first time. Back in the day, series maybe like, maybe series one to five of blind bags, they came pre-built, man. Not anymore. You got to build these from scratch. And here he is with his storm rifle, beam rifle, storm beam rifle. <laughs> and yeah, he's looking fantastic. And that gives one more figure for today. We've got a alarming amount amount of Covenant, two Storm and two Basic Covenant, and only one Marine to fight them all, so we really need some UNSC reinforcements. Let's see if we get them with Delta Series, which, you know, it's got quite a lot of UNSC. It's half and half. We've got the EVA, Marine, Pink Hermes, and whatever this one is, Warmaster, maybe, Pathfinder, something. Crawler, Grunt, the Flood, and the Elite. The two, I, I just said that I wanted UNSC reinforcements, and the Marine is great, but these two are the kings. Elite, and this flood. I mean, I would give anything for the flood. I feel like nowadays, if you buy a sealed blind bag, it's going to, you know, they're gonna have felt it. They're gonna have uh, sold, resold the most expensive ones. And I just saw a flash of yellow, which confirms my theory. It's the Spartan, whatever you call it. If people want to display the bag, that's nicer. But when you look at the back, oh no. <laughs> 
Oh no, it sort of belched it out. This just in, Simon does not know his Spartans. This is a Spartan protector. This is a Spartan that, uh, yeah, I, I didn't really ever use it in Halo 4. I don't like any Spartan that doesn't come with a physical visor. Like, I just don't think it's a good idea. Like, I know that they could have a holographic heads-up display or something like that, but what if the tech dies? What if there's an EMP, you know? Like, they need to be able to survive with a physical visor, or I, or I just I just think it's a stupid idea, especially for, like, million-dollar armors if just uh, the internet went out and then they, they couldn't use their armor. So this is a pretty good haul, honestly, and we did get a Spartan to combat our alarmingly large Covenant reinforcements. And I'm also just happy to be making a blind bag opening video and just to reflect on the fact that everything is going in the right direction with this channel. We've done daily uploads, and yesterday I announced a blind bag giveaway for any new subscribers to my new YouTube channel, Daily Halo. Every weekend leading up to the launch of Halo Infinite, I'll be giving away a random blind bag. You can choose which one from a large assortment of bags, and they can be yours as long as you subscribe to Daily Halo. I'll be drawing a winner from my subscription list every single week. So head over to Daily Halo for memes, best plays, and all sorts of fun content. Just smaller clips and uploads that I can't really do on the domain. I'm really excited about the channel, honestly. The 10th anniversary, Clash on the Ring, Delta, Charlie, Bravo, Challenger series. Six figures, which, you know, I'm pretty happy with the outcomes there. I got two nice elites, and this Marine is badass. The Grunt is just fine cannon fodder, and these two are also pretty nice army additions as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another unboxing and review with The Domain. You stay awesome, you stay safe out there, and keep it with this channel for all your Halo Mega Constructs needs. They're all signing off. All together, signing off. Bye, 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 bye.